Volcanoes have, for as long as we can remember, been able to captivate our imagination with their unbridled power and their ability to instantly transform the landscape of our planet. They are a constant reminder of the ever-changing character of our home planet, and one such volcano that has been making headlines as of late is the mighty Shivaluk volcano. This volcano, which is located on the remote Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia, recently ruptured its crust, setting off a string of explosive eruptions that have attracted the attention of scientists as well as the general public. Volcanoes are widely considered to be among the most awe-inspiring natural phenomena. Molten rock, gases, and ash can all find their way to the surface of the planet through these openings in the Earth's crust. These eruptions have the potential to be extremely destructive, resulting in widespread destruction and the loss of life. However, they are also extremely important contributors to the formation of our planet's geology and the regulation of its climate. Recent seismic and volcanic activity at Shivaluk, volcanologists from all over the world have been paying attention to the Shivaluk volcano in recent years because it has been exhibiting increased levels of activity. Locals refer to the volcano as Shivaluk, and it is a part of the volcanic arc that spans the Kamchatka Peninsula, which is home to a number of other active and potentially hazardous volcanoes. Position on the map geographically The Shivaluk volcano can be found on the Kamchatka Peninsula in eastern Russia, on the peninsula's most northeastern tip. It is a highly volcanic region that is characterized by frequent seismic activity and the presence of tectonic plate boundaries. It is located within the Kamchatka Krai region and is a part of the larger Pacific Ring of Fire. Eruptions that occurred in the past The Shivaluk volcano is known to have had its first recorded eruption in 1854. However, it is believed that the volcano had been active for several centuries before that. The volcano has displayed a pattern of periodic eruptions throughout its entire recorded history, each of which has had a varying degree of explosiveness and intensity. The volcano's reputation as one of the most active in the area is in large part due to the eruptions that have taken place recently. The Scientific Rationale for Volcanoes The movement of tectonic plates beneath the surface of the Earth is what causes volcanic eruptions. When these plates come into contact with one another or break apart, they generate regions of extremely high pressure and temperature. The result of this is the melting of rocks and the creation of magma chambers beneath the crust of the Earth. An eruption of a volcano occurs as a result of magma rising to the surface as a result of an increase in pressure that is too great. Forms that volcanic eruptions can take Both the explosiveness and the composition of the materials that are ejected during volcanic eruptions can be quite variable. Some eruptions are characterized by explosive ash plumes and pyroclastic flows, while others produce effusive lava flows as the primary feature of the eruption. An eruption's explosive potential can be affected by a number of factors, including the magma's chemical makeup, the amount of gas it contains, and the presence of compounds that are easily volatile. Characteristics of the body At an elevation of approximately 3,283 meters, the Shivaluk volcano towers above its surroundings. It takes the form of a steep and symmetrical cone, and its summit contains a crater in addition to a number of vents. Lava, volcanic ash, and pyroclastic material have been accumulating on the volcano for hundreds of years, which has resulted in the formation of layers of alternating volcanic material. Volcanic Hazards The eruptive activity of the Shivaluk volcano poses significant risks to the surrounding environment as well as the human communities in the area. Ash plumes, pyroclastic flows, lahars, also known as mud flows, and volcanic gases are all examples of potential dangers. While ash plumes have the ability to travel great distances and have the potential to disrupt air traffic, pyroclastic flows have the ability to sweep down the slopes of the volcano at high speeds and cause widespread destruction. Indices of Social Unrest Over the past few years, the Shivaluk volcano has displayed signs of increased activity as well as unrest. These include the development of a new lava dome inside the crater, an increase in seismicity, and the emission of steam and volcanic gases from the volcano. It is clear from these signs that the volcano is in a state of high alert and that an eruption is a distinct possibility in the not-too-distant future. Eruption Events The Shivaluk volcano experienced a string of explosive eruptions which sent ash plumes soaring into the atmosphere. Pyroclastic flows and lahars were produced as a direct result of these eruptions, 
which posed a direct threat to the areas that were nearby. These eruptions were particularly dangerous due to the explosive nature of the material that was ejected, as well as the volume of material that was ejected, which is why they attracted the attention of scientists and the media. The Effects That The Ash Plumes Have The ash plumes that are produced as a result of the eruptions of the Shivaluk volcano have a significant impact on the surrounding environment. The fine particles of volcanic ash have the potential to remain suspended in the atmosphere for extended periods of time, which can prevent sunlight from reaching the surface and result in a decrease in temperature. This phenomenon, which is known as volcanic winter, can have significant repercussions for ecosystems, including impeding the growth of plants, causing disruptions in food chains, and even leading to the extinction of some species. Disturbance of the world's ecosystems The volcanic activity at Shivaluk Volcano has the potential to wreak havoc on the ecosystems of the surrounding area. The high temperatures and ash deposits can put an end to the lives of plants and animals, leaving behind a desolate landscape. Volcanic eruptions, on the other hand, also produce brand new openings for the development of life. Once the nutrient-rich volcanic soils have had time to settle and become weathered, they will be able to encourage the growth of new vegetation and draw in a wide variety of plant and animal species. Protocol for Evacuating the Building In the event that the Shivaluk volcano shows signs of an impending eruption, the authorities will initiate evacuation procedures to protect the communities that are located nearby. As part of these procedures, residents will be moved to predetermined safe zones, where they will be out of harm's way of lava flows and other hazards associated with the volcano. The potential risk to human life can be reduced by a significant amount through the implementation of routine drills and community-wide preparedness programs. Economic Consequences The volcanic activity of the Shivaluk volcano has the potential to have severe repercussions for the economy of the surrounding region. Ash plumes have the potential to disrupt air travel, which can lead to the cancellation of flights and economic losses for tourism operators and airlines. In addition, the destruction of infrastructure, such as roads and buildings, can have long-term effects on the economy, necessitating significant financial investments in the process of reconstruction and recovery. Volcano Monitoring Techniques The behavior of the Shivaluk volcano is being studied by scientists who use a variety of monitoring techniques in order to identify any changes that may indicate an impending eruption. These methods include seismology, which tracks earthquake activity, gas analysis, which determines the composition of volcanic gases, and satellite imagery, which tracks changes in the surface of the volcano. Initiatives for Cooperative Research Partnerships The study of the Shivaluk volcano is not confined to efforts made on a local level, but rather involves collaboration between scientists and research institutions from all over the world. These collaborations have the goals of enhancing our understanding of volcanic processes, improving our ability to make accurate forecasts, and developing strategies for mitigating the impact that volcanic hazards have on human populations, as well as the environment. Attempts to Forecast Future Volcanic Eruptions Even though it is not possible to predict volcanic eruptions with absolute precision, the ongoing monitoring and research efforts at Shivaluk Volcano provide valuable data for forecasting potential eruptions. Scientists are able to make informed assessments regarding the likelihood of future eruptions and the magnitude of those eruptions by analyzing patterns of volcanic activity and gaining an understanding of the behavior of the volcano. Strategies for both preparedness and risk reduction. The authorities are able to better develop preparedness and mitigation strategies as a result of the knowledge gained from studying the past eruptions of Shivaluk as well as its current activity. These strategies intend to lessen the toll that future eruptions of the volcano will take on human settlements, as well as physical infrastructure. These include measures to enhance community resilience and education about volcanic hazards, as well as early warning systems and evacuation plans. Recent eruptions of the Shivaluk volcano have served as a potent reminder of the unbridled power and unpredictability of nature. Its explosive activity has posed significant dangers, not only to the environment, but also to the human settlements that are located nearby. However, through ongoing monitoring, research, and preparation efforts, authorities and scientists are working to improve our understanding of this dangerous volcano and lessen the impact it will have on communities that are particularly vulnerable. The forces that shape our planet continue to teach us valuable lessons, 
and as a result, we are gaining valuable insights into how to coexist with powerful natural phenomena. Warning to the aviation industry. Will the eruption of the Shivalok volcano in Russia affect flights? As a result of the massive volcanic eruption that occurred on the far-flung Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia, airlines have been placed on high alert. Tuesday night around midnight, one of the most active volcanoes in the country, Shivalok, began to spew lava and ash into the air. Within six hours, it had sent an ash plume into the sky that was 10 kilometers high and developed an ash cloud that covered 108,000 square kilometers. As a result of the violent eruption, nearby villages were covered in ash to a depth of 10 centimeters. If you are planning to fly in the next few days, the information that follows is extremely important to you. Will the volcano in Russia have an effect on flight schedules? The aviation community has been issued a warning by the Kamchatka Volcanic Eruption Response Team. The bulletin issued a warning that the volcano poses the possibility of harm to both domestic and international airlines. According to what it said, flight crews should take into account the peculiarities of this natural phenomenon when choosing routes for domestic and international flights. However, it is highly unlikely that the volcanic eruption will have any effect on your flight. As a result of the conflict in Ukraine, European and American airlines are currently prohibited from operating within Russian airspace. As a result, the impact of this will be minimal. Why does volcanic activity make flying during certain times of the day dangerous? In the past, volcanic eruptions have caused significant disruptions to travel on a global scale. In 2010, the eruption of the Icelandic volcano Eyfjallajökull produced an ash cloud that was carried over northern Europe by the wind. This cloud caused more than 100,000 flights to be cancelled. Ashes have the potential to disrupt engine function and reduce visibility, both of which make flying hazardous. If all volcanoes in Russia were to erupt simultaneously, it would have significant consequences for the region and potentially impact global climate as well. Russia is home to a large number of volcanoes, including some of the most active ones in the world. It's important to note that the simultaneous eruption of all volcanoes in Russia is an extremely unlikely scenario. Volcanic activity is typically localized and does not occur simultaneously across an entire region. However, if such an event were to happen, it would undoubtedly have profound and wide-ranging consequences for both Russia and the global community. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel to receive more videos. Share this video with your family and friends and hit the bell icon to receive notifications when we upload more videos to the channel.